Hey friend, thanks for watching and make sure you hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up for more videos just like this. Let's go. Hello, my name is Jeremiah and I hope you are ready to have fun learning with six facts about Arlington National Cemetery. Starting off, if you're asking what is Arlington National Cemetery, it is a United States military cemetery located in Arlington County, Virginia, across the Potomac River from Washington, D.C. Next, when it comes to national cemeteries, Arlington National Cemetery is the only national cemetery to hold servicemen from every war in U.S. history. How the land came into the possession of the U.S. government is very interesting. Arlington National Cemetery is located on Confederate General Robert E. Lee's estate, where it was taken by the U.S. government. After losing the Civil War, General Lee never returned to his estate, and when his wife paid a tax bill too late, the U.S. government took the property from her. It was later returned to the family after the U.S. Supreme Court said the U.S. government shouldn't have taken the property. That is where it was sold back to the U.S. government to keep soldiers there in the cemetery. Once the government took the land, Quartermaster General Montgomery C. Miggs came up with the idea to make it a military cemetery. He also came up with the idea to bury soldiers as close to the Lee's Mansion as possible to make them never want to return. With so many soldiers buried in Arlington National Cemetery, there had to be a first soldier buried, right? The first individual to be buried at Arlington National Cemetery was Private William Chrisman of Pennsylvania. His body was laid to rest there after dying from a disease called peritonitis. Now, finally, you can't talk about U.S. history without mentioning slavery. This is also the same for Arlington National Cemetery. For example, almost 4,000 former slaves are buried at Arlington Cemetery. This is because after the government had taken the land, part of the estate was given to former slaves where they formed their own community called Freedman's Village. These African Americans who lived there were allowed to be buried at Arlington Cemetery in Section 27. Well, you know me, and I love telling fun facts, so I hope you enjoyed these fun facts about Arlington Cemetery. I'll see you next time.